I know what you are thinking, and it's a very valid question to ask during these times. What would happen if something unfortunate was to happen to King Charles? Who would be the working royals, and where would that leave Meghan and Harry? And also, guys, if you love my content, please make sure you're following me, and please leave a comment. I would love to know what you think about this particular topic. So if King Charles was to pass today, automatically, that would make King William and Queen Consort Catherine. Line of Succession will continue with Kate and William's children, and they will be referred to as Prince George of Wales, Princess Charlotte of Wales, and Prince Louis of Wales. But who will be the working royals under King William's reign because his kids is too young to work? Currently, and if you're a UK taxpayer, these are your working royals. The Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke is a first cousin of the late Queen Elizabeth. Duke of Kent, another first cousin of the late Elizabeth II. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. Prince Edward is a son of the late Queen Elizabeth. Princess Anne, everyone's favorite. Vice Admiral, Sir Timothy Lawrence. He's the husband of Princess Anne. Princess Alexandria, the Honorable Lady Ogilvy. She too is a first cousin of the late Queen Elizabeth II. And then that leaves these two, William and Kate. These are all the people that the British taxpayers are paying for. These are your working royals. And as has been stated before, most of these people are over the age of 75. So back to the question. Who would be the working royals under a reign of King William? Well, if I'm not mistaken, Queen Camilla will not be a working royal and I don't even see that happening if it was possible under King William. So it really just leave these two, these two, and a bunch of people who is damn near at retirement age. No, actually, they're past it. So to segue into my last question, where does that leave Meghan and Harry? Let's just say folks is trying to manipulate and gaslight all of us into the fact that actually they need Meghan and Harry, but they're trying to convince all of you that Meghan and Harry need them. 